Hey, I'm back. In this video, we're going to talk about why people really don't stick to and stay consistent with healthy eating. Now, this probably is not targeted to you, but you probably know people and friends and family that just cannot stick to a diet no matter what. Um, the diet that I've been recommending, the Keto Intermittent Fasting Program, uh, is very easy to stick to it as long as you get into it and get through that first two weeks. And then it's really easy because the cravings go away and you're not hungry anymore. But for most people, they still have a hard time staying consistent. So let's talk about why that is. Um, you know, why don't people learn from their experience? Like, like a diabetic, for example. If you're a diabetic, you have a 40x times, it's 40 times the risk factors of getting glaucoma than if you didn't have diabetes. Now, just that data alone would give you prediction. Um, chances are you're going to get glaucoma, okay? But people, again, like they keep consuming junk food, they don't change. Why? It's very strange. And I think really the big reason why people can't stick to it is because they live in the moment, in the present, and not enough in the future. They're not thinking consequences. They're not living enough in the future. They're just living for the now. They want that quick sensation, that quick pleasure, instant gratification, but without really kind of confronting what's going to happen down the road. Now, one of the things that I did in my book is in the back, I put something called conscious eating cards. You can cut it out, put it in your purse, put it in your wallet. And the purpose for this is to really make you very aware of the consequences of doing certain things. So like if you're going to eat a donut, for example, or some juice or some alcohol, it's recommended that you read these to just remind yourself and start living in the future and decide what's going to happen if I consume this and is it worth it? And that's, that'll actually may distract you. Now, if you take a look at the top ways people actually die, cancer, stroke, heart attack, kidney disease, Alzheimer's, diabetes complications, what's the common thread? The common thread with all of these is high levels of insulin. So I think the awareness of understanding the mechanism, the cause and effect relationship, and also start living more in the future, you could just make better decisions. So the next time you get tempted from eating that donut, before you make the decision, really weigh it out. Is the temporary pleasure really worth the future consequences? Thanks for watching. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Keep spreading the word and share this video.